Five. Hey, what's going on? This is your boy Five Piece, producer and engineer extraordinaire. Are you an artist, producer, engineer, or music professional that's looking for funding for your music career? Could you benefit from having funding for studio time, mixing and mastering, or even marketing costs? I think I have something for you. I've written a free ebook, it's nine pages, super short and digestible, where I break down the six main places that artists and professionals like yourself can find funding for their musical projects. If this sounds like it's of value to you, please click the link below and you can download this for free today and benefit from this knowledge. I hope this helps. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Five. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Five Piece, producer and engineer extraordinaire. Thanks for checking out this video. Please hit the subscribe and bell button to stay tuned for more tutorials in the future as I'm gonna be dropping a lot of helpful stuff for you guys out there. In this video, I'm actually going back in time and I'm gonna show you a part of a workshop that I did recently. It was a producer mixing workshop. And I'm gonna show you how I set up a compressor on my master channel. So this is gonna affect everything in the track and I'm obviously doing this in a group setting at my workshop. Let's just rewind to that day and you'll learn something here. So let's talk about how I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna just sort of reset things here. So first of all, I'm gonna make my ratio two, one. So that's gonna be uh, fairly transparent. I'm gonna have a fast release. As you can see, I'm all the way to the left here. And then I'm gonna have a slow attack. So we're gonna let the transient through and this is gonna be set in a very transparent way right now. The next thing I'm gonna do is, my makeup gain is set to zero, I'm not adding any makeup gain. And I'm gonna just play this through, bring down the threshold until I start to see the meter move. This meter is the gain reduction. And once I see that kinda of happening, I'm gonna to try to get between one and two dB of gain reduction, let's say. Right there is four, I believe. So, you know, maybe halfway across the chasm here and uh, get a good setting and listen to how it sounds, of course, as well. So let me, let me go into where my bass is happening. So you already see it's already compressing it just a little bit. We'll compress it more. As you can see, it's roughly where I was hoping it would be. We bypass it and we'll listen. Listen to the drums especially. So without it. Yeah, so you could kind of, if you if you heard what I heard, I could hear the drums just come forward a little bit more. It's essentially just kind of keeping everything in place. So the dynamic stuff, the stuff that's a little too loud and popping out too much, uh, it's just keeping it, you know, squashing it a little bit, reducing it in volume. The quieter parts, it's going to bring up a little bit more, but overall, it's just going to make everything glue, as people like to call it. I hear that, at least in this situation. Hopefully, you guys do as well. But everything here, very gentle, you know what I mean? 2-1 ratio, fast release, slow attack. I'm not adding any makeup gain. I'm only losing volume, actually, but you'll understand why momentarily. And then I dialed my threshold down until I started seeing the amount of gain reduction I wanted, which was roughly 1 to 2 dB. And the reason why I say 1 to 2 dB is it's such a gradual, small difference. But these small little differences, again, when you do it in stages, they all add up. And there you have it. That's how I usually set up my compressor on my master channel. Now remember, that is on my master channel. So that's affecting every single sound that sits on the master. From my drums, my bass, if you have vocals, it'll affect that too. Instruments, everything. So just please keep that in mind. Once again, if you haven't already done so, please hit the bell and the subscribe button to stay tuned for more tutorials in the future. And I'll see you guys again soon. Peace out. Five.